Man of Action aptly describes the man we are honoring today. This film features his many hit songs. In 1956, he began his songwriting career after meeting Tony Hiller, who introduced Les to many great songwriters, including Jeff Stevens, Les's first writing partner. This recording with Max Bygraves and the Children of Arnhem celebrated the 50th anniversary of the battle. Les and Jeff's first hit together was by the Apple Jacks. Followed by a Tom Jones smash. Then came... Herman's Hermits. The Carpenters. Barry Manilow. It was also a hit for Perry Como, Matt Monroe and Johnny Mathis. These long, lonely Between them, Les and Jeff wrote five songs for the great Elvis Presley. Wondering when she will call. Where do I go from here? Where Do I Go From Here was written for the film One More Time. To tell you the truth, my friend, I think... Les and Jeff also wrote hits for Piggity Witch and Connie Francis. In 1965, Les and Barry Mason started a long-standing partnership. This was their first hit. Here it comes again. The feeling, here it comes again. And a number one for Mr. Smoothie himself. So I'll pretend your loving arms are reaching out for me. Twenty-four sycamore for Gene Pitney and Wayne Fontana. This number two hit for Tom. And this next song shook the world. It was also recorded by the Russian Red Army Choir. And the sensational Alex Harvey band took Delilah back into the charts in the 70s. And Luciano Pavarotti, who absolutely adored the song. And then came these hits. This song was a massive hit for Malcolm Roberts and also for Engelbert in the USA. Kiss Me Goodbye charted for Petula Clark here and in America. Should I go or should I stay? The band that only one more song. A number one for Engelbert. The song was totally against everything else in the chart. And featured by Jimi Hendrix. And others. I have the last waltz with you. Followed by we'll Les and Barry also had a number two hit with the Dave Clark Five called Everybody Knows. And then came this. 
Written by Les and Gordon Mills with recordings by Roberta Flack, Thelma Houston, Gladys Knight, The Supremes, Stevie Wonder, The Four Seasons, Cher, The Four Tops, Otis Redding, Marvin Gaye, and of course this well-known recording artist. Even aliens from Mars did it. Jesus Christ. As did... Robbie. It's not unusual to have fun with anyone. Les's next partner was Peter Callender, and their first hit was with Lulu. They also wrote to make a big man cry for Tom Jones, Adam Faith, and PJ Proby, as well as this hit for Paul and Barry Ryan. Together with Johnny Worth, Liz wrote this song for Shirley Bassey, a big hit in the USA. And with Roger Greenaway... Hello Happiness for the Drifters. And with Jackie Ray. Is it hard to see that my heart is breaking? It was yours for the taking. What's wrong with my world? Somehow it's not turning. Les and Jackie wrote this song for PJ Proby, as well as I've Got My Eyes on You. Donald Pierce had a number two with Please Don't Go and Give Me One More Chance. Bing Crosby. My life is like an open book. This song was Bing Crosby's last hit, written with Peter Dacre and Bing himself. I thank them all. Les has worked with some of the greatest artists of all time. Not only providing the songs, but also the arrangements, which include Green Green Grass of Home, You've Got Your Troubles, Boys Cry by Eden Kane, and many, many others. Liz's music is truly international, having written for artists like Elvis Presley, Frank Sinatra, and Connie Francis, who devoted a whole album to Liz's songs. Les Reed must surely rank among the cream of British songwriters, and we pay tribute to his supreme musical talent today.